Today I'm at Prague City Hall on very important business. Here to see an elevator, what's known as a Paternoster elevator, or for my European friends, a Paternoster lift, or for my morbid friends, a death elevator. Ironically, the name Paternoster means our father in Latin due to the elevator's similarity to a rosary. Unlike a normal elevator, which goes up and down, stopping as required, the Paternoster has similarities to an escalator meaning it is in constant motion with the riders required to pay attention to the floor as well as safely gauge when to step on or off. It stays in constant motion by looping up, across, down, across, and then back up. The first of these lifts was installed at the Oriel Chambers in Liverpool, England in 1868 by architect Peter Ellis. The Oriel Chambers is also the world's first building to have metal framed glass curtain walls seen on almost every skyscraper today. If you're an American, you can imagine that while the country is reeling from the destruction of its civil war, some guy in Britain is designing cool steam powered elevators because he's getting sick of all these stairs he has to climb. From 1868 until about the 1970s, hundreds of Paternoster elevators were installed across Europe, with the highest reaching 16 stories. By the middle of the 20th century, though, people started to care about this new idea known as safety. These elevators, estimated to be 30 times more likely to result in an accident during use, were going to have a tough time overcoming new requirements, especially because it was most likely to injure a child, the disabled, and the elderly. In fact, Germany averaged one death per year from the Paternoster elevators. Safety features are present though. Most have emergency stops and other features that help reduce accidents. But the reality is that when you expect humans to be responsible for their own safety, there might be some problems. Despite the potential risks, whenever a government tries to shut them down or ban them, the population resists. Most governments have, at a minimum, banned installing new ones, though. Although Japanese company Hitachi, as well as other companies, have been designing computer-controlled Paternosters for future use. Until then, though, if you want to take a ride on a public Paternoster, there are only a few options, almost all of which are here in Europe where you can ride the so-called death elevator at a terrifying one foot per second. Thanks for watching, and as always, until next time, get lost.